So in this tutorial, I just want to talk a little bit about the .cas file that's used by Telemac to actually launch the simulation. Um, when you download the folder from the uh, Telemac website, on the, after you unzip it, you get these, these, these things in here. So you get the blue canoe underscore files, you get Telemac underscore simulation underscore files, and you also get the Telemac 2D tutorial Baxter. Um, in here you have the .cas files, both for a steady state and an unsteady state. I've taken the steady state um, uh, case file and I've just modified it slightly just to make a few things a little bit more intuitive and easier to understand. But I'll just open this up in a text editor just to show you what's on the inside. Um, basically, the way that these files work is that you have a keyword and then you have an associated value with the keyword. When Telemac reads it in, uh, I guess there's a routine that goes and looks at all of the various keywords that are in this file, and then it just basically populates a dictionary of some sort so it knows, okay, well, the title is this, and, and the number of time step is this, and then it uses those values um, within the program itself. Uh, just I'll go through these pretty quickly here. So you have title. This will appear at the start of the simulation. Uh, computation continued. This depends if whether or not you're using a hot start to basically start the simulation or if you're starting from initial conditions. Um, and if you use computation continued, then you have this other line here that's for the moment is commented out, but it's previous computation file. So this is just a reference to the previous computation file that you want to use as the hot start. A number of time steps is 1000 in this case. Uh, and the time step is five, so in total this would be 5,000 seconds of simulation. Uh, for the input and output, this is what I wanted to talk about uh, in particular, but uh, so you have the stage discharge curves. If you recall in the boundary condition video, I talked about the, uh, the stage discharge curve that's being used on the downstream end. Um, this is just making reference to the file that actually contains the data uh, that is the stage discharge curve, which is right here. So if we just take a quick look at that, you can see on the inside that you have um, a flow rate and then you have an associated water uh, level depth. So basically when the flow rate is in between 2.83 and 76.39, it's gonna interpolate between these two values to get the, the fixed height at the downstream end. And then, uh, yeah, so basically that's a stage discharge curve and then I'll uh, just close that for the moment. I might come back to it here in, in a little bit. The geometry file is the cellophane file that we were talking about. So uh, this file here, uh, this object here, when you export it, uh, actually I'll do it now. So just we're just going to save that. Uh, it's already been saved uh, as a geometry here. So we'll just save it as geometry. And that contains the bottom and bottom friction uh, values, and as well as... A, pretty much all the information that has to do with the mesh. So if we, that was saved in blue canoe files, so it's right here, but this needs to be present in the Telemac simulation directory, or at least you need to make reference to the other directory where it can be found. But if we just take a quick look inside of this uh, uh, cellophane file, you see that it's all in binary, so we can't read most, most of it. But you do see here bottom and you see bottom friction. Uh, so that's a good sign that tells us that those two variables are included within the geometry file, which is a good thing. And we have the steering file, which is this present, like the file that we're looking at at the moment, Baxter underscore steady underscore state underscore modified. That's this file here. The boundary conditions file is the CLI file that we created uh, in, an, in the boundary condition video. If you forgot how I did that, it's just to basically just select mesh underscore original underscore bc and then just save that and oh this this one's the um actually i don't even think this actually uses like i'm pretty sure that telemac actually doesn't use this file but we'll save it anyways but it does use uh this file here for sure um so we'll just save this copy as and you can see that's the cli file so we'll save that and then we'll go into go into the blue canoe files and just find uh, this mesh original bc.cli file and we'll bring that into the telemac simulation file so th those are the only two files that you actually need to bring in and make reference to in the uh, the steering file for the simulation and um, 
So we have the boundary conditions files. The re results file are, is the file name where the results are going to be printed out. And uh, so that's basically everything for the input and output in terms of files. So in the next video, I'll go through pretty much uh, all of these other values, all these other keywords, and maybe just go into a little bit more depth on each of them, and then just talk about them in relation with the boundary conditions. Uh, so hope to see you in the next video.